Today, let's delve into the most recent updates from Tesla, covering new confirmations about Cybertruck features, substantial discounts of up to $33,000 on Tesla cars, a contentious new patent from the company, and more. To kick things off, we'll focus on the latest developments related to the Cybertruck. With its official delivery event just around the corner this Thursday, Tesla has previously outlined the schedule for the Cybertruck delivery event. While specific details about the event time have been somewhat elusive, Tesla did mention that doors would open around 1 p.m. CT. Despite the official RSVP on their website omitting any time details, confirmation has come from Martin Fiu that the event is set to kick off at approximately 1 p.m. CT. He clarified, the Cybertruck delivery event starts at around 1 p.m. CT on Thursday. In case someone's unsure, I've noticed that a few people thought it's an evening event. I think most were unsure since they never actually announced it in classic Tesla fashion. But at least we know now. Hopefully, everyone can still make it since this is quite early compared to most Tesla product releases in the past. Why not subscribe to Tesla Global? Back to the video. The official Cybertruck Twitter page posted an update saying, this year, it's Cyber Thursday, and there they confirmed it's actually at 2 p.m. CT. I imagine this means the doors open at 1 p.m., and the stream begins at 2 p.m., but we'll have to see. Again, Tesla could have handled this much better for people's travel plans and getting excited for an event at a clear time. Apple does this better than anyone. Nevertheless, Tesla has been strategically showcasing Cybertrucks across various locations in North America, with new displays seemingly added each day. While we were aware of Tesla shipping and testing these trucks in different areas, the purpose behind this widespread display initiative has become clearer. Notably, there's one on exhibit at Tesla's Boston showroom, another in Dublin, California, one located in Bellevue, Washington, and another in Tampa, Florida. A particularly fascinating display is the Cybertruck being maneuvered through a mall, all the way to the Tesla store as captured in a video. However, a consistent theme across all these displays is the restriction of customer access. The tonneau cover remains closed. The Cybertruck is in display mode with the front light bar activated, and stanchions are strategically placed to keep onlookers at a distance. This deliberate approach by Tesla ensures that these sightings do not reveal any new information, maintaining an element of mystery around the Cybertruck. What adds an exciting dimension to this situation is the prospect that, following Tesla's official announcement of the Cybertruck on Thursday, Accompanied by detailed specifications, they can simultaneously remove these stanchions from every store. This would enable customers to step inside and explore the vehicle firsthand if they choose to do so. As of Saturday, Sawyer Merritt estimated Cybertrucks to be present in 5.5%. Of all U.S. Tesla showroom spaces, a number that has likely increased since. For those curious about the truck's display locations, a map outlines the states with current displays, along with a list indicating where they are and potential upcoming locations. Notably, there's even one showcased in Langley, Canada, and enthusiasts are actively tracking its movements. If you're keen to catch a glimpse, a short trip could offer the opportunity to see the Cybertruck in various states. We've seen the Cybertruck next to a few trucks and other vehicles that give us a good size comparison. But now, one has been spotted next to Tesla's current largest vehicle, the Model X. We can see just how much larger the Cybertruck truly is here, with just about every angle towering over a Model X. Over in Yos, a Cybertruck was parked next to a Chevy Silverado. This comparison shows a fairly similar size. The Cybertruck just always seems a bit larger since the bed is far from traditional and slopes up. Aside from that, it does look to be a fairly similar size and height. One interesting thing to see is a lineup of Cybertrucks facing different directions, with many of them dirty at Giga Texas. Since they are so dirty, this photo gives us a great look at how the huge single windshield wiper will work in practice. It seems to clear more than usual from the driver's viewpoint, especially considering how tall the windshield is. But the passenger won't have as great of a view. In practice, I imagine this will work just fine, but we won't truly know until it launches. Moving on, as we approach the conclusion of 2023 and the end of Tesla's quarter, the incentives are becoming more attractive for potential buyers. Presently, if you purchase a Model 3 or Y using a referral link, you'll enjoy six months of complimentary supercharging and a three-month trial of the FSD package. However, for the Model S and X, this offer is bundled exclusively with the FSD trial. 
While it's always optimal to acquire a Tesla through a referral link, the company is currently extending the same six months of free supercharging as an incentive for Model 3 and Y buyers prominently featured on their homepage. This perk applies to those who take delivery by December 31st. It's undoubtedly an appealing incentive, but its value may depend on individual circumstances, with some finding the six-month window potentially expiring before they can fully capitalize on it. One scenario where this incentive becomes particularly advantageous is for someone purchasing the car with immediate plans for a road trip. They also note that the EV tax credit incentives are available but may end up being reduced for certain cars. For the Model 3, they seem confident that this credit, even as it becomes a point-of-sale credit in 2024, will be reduced down to $350. This is always going to be pending federal guidance, so we don't know for sure. But Tesla does know their battery sourcing and their plans. It seems that come 2024, the Model 3 will only qualify for half of the credit due to their batteries. As for the Model Y, they don't seem quite as confident as to whether or not it will be reduced. They simply say take delivery by December 31st for a full 7500 tax credit. Essentially, buying in 2023 will guarantee that amount as long as you qualify, and they can't say for sure what it'll be in 2024. Everyone is considering the fact that the new, very exciting, refreshed Model 3 should be coming to the U.S. soon. Waiting could pay off, even with a reduced tax credit or no free supercharging, since that car brings a lot of great features. I'm personally intrigued to observe whether these discounts will see an increase as we approach the end of the year. While I assume that Model 3 sales might require an extra boost with the impending refresh, it remains to be seen. Additionally, the Model S and X currently feature some modest discounts for demo vehicles, with the most substantial being approximately $1,300,000 off a Model X and $11,000 off a played Model S. Despite demo vehicles not typically generating as much excitement, some of them boast remarkably low mileage. It's worth noting that last year, Tesla provided discounts of up to $7,500 by the year's end primarily due to the imminent arrival of the tax credit in 2023 for that amount. They bought a rear-wheel drive Model 3 at $3,800. They got a Massachusetts State EV credit, the 7500s credit, and the inventory price adjustment. After everything is considered and taxes are finished, they will have obtained a brand new Model 3 for around the price that Tesla is aiming for on their next vehicle. For the right customer today, the $25,000 Tesla already does exist. So it's always worth doing the research on savings and incentives available wherever you live. Next up to the today, Tesla has filed a patent for a suite of new features that may be quite controversial amongst customers. The fact that Tesla collects driving data already sits differently with some individuals. Then the interior camera has a mixed perception as well. Some understand and appreciate the safety it can help provide, while others don't want a camera looking at them in their car especially not one that Tesla can collect footage from. Even when anonymous and only collected in very specific circumstances, this data can be abused. But when handled correctly, it can provide great safety features. Tesla is very focused on safety, and a new feature for the interior camera in certain markets is a driver drowsiness warning. For this feature, Tesla says the driver drowsiness warning is designed to notify drivers who appear to be drowsy by monitoring driver facial characteristics, as well as driving behavior to determine patterns indicative of drowsiness. This comes in part because this will be required in the EU soon, but Tesla is expanding their functions here. Tesla's new patent includes a bunch of features enabled by facial recognition in your car, including select a driver profile, call 911 if you're unresponsive, drive to the nearest hospital if you're unresponsive, and the vehicle is drivable. This would, of course, be a future feature that they would deliver if they achieve FSD. Automatically adjust HVAC, greet you by name when entering the vehicle, automatically adjust seat positioning, change audio focus, and determine the health and safety of the driver. Some of these features are already available through their driver profile linked to your key, but this links them further to your face. Included in this patent are a few images, and this one shows the recognition in practice from the interior view that we're used to seeing. Here it is from another angle. The listed inventors here are Blair Williams and Ednan Asmail. 
The applicant is Tesla Inc. from Austin, Texas, and the patent's name is Personalization System and Method for a Vehicle Based on Spatial Locations of Occupants' Body Portions. The patent itself goes into great detail and details the flow of how all this technology works. What's particularly interesting is that this is something Tesla could deliver on the cars they already ship and have shipped for a while. But of course, that will come with some controversy. It's a safer system that should be able to help drivers even more when in need and add some convenience features. But that will come with a facial recognition camera inside your car. With that said, most people have this on their phones already. So is your car really that much of a stretch? Ultimately, it will come down to how secure the data is. That will be vital, but what are your thoughts on this? Would you love to enter your Tesla, have it read your face, greet you, and provide all of the features this patent mentions? Or would that be too much for you? Leave a comment below to let me know your thoughts. Next up today, a small new fee that Tesla will begin charging at its superchargers. Again, it's something that could be a bit controversial. An important piece of EV charging is that drivers move their cars out of a stall when their car is ready to go. It helps keep charges flowing and reduces wait time during busy hours or holidays. To combat this, Tesla has charged idle fees for a while now. Quote, the Tesla app allows owners to remotely monitor their vehicle, alerting them when their charge is nearly complete. And again, once it reaches the charge threshold, there is a similar grace period here. For some, this will be controversial because it means that you aren't free to charge your car to its full charge at least without a fee. But on the larger scale, this does make a lot of sense. It's best for most EV batteries not to charge to 100%. That last 10% takes the longest, and other people need to charge as well. Overall, I think it makes sense, but some won't be a big fan of this, especially when they hear about it for the first time via a notification when they are about to be charged one does per minute. Again, though, it's important to note that this only applies to busy superchargers. The majority of the time, congestion fees will not concern you, and you'll be free to charge above 90% if you wish. To conclude today's updates, let's shift our focus to developments in other automotive companies. Over at Cruise, the CEO and co-founder have resigned following the suspension of supervised and manual trips. In a Twitter post, he expressed his future plans, stating, as for what's next for me, I plan to spend time with my family and explore some new ideas. Thanks for the great ride. The last 10 years have been amazing, and I'm grateful to everyone who helped cruise along the way. Having launched the startup in his garage, it has provided over 250,000 driverless rides across multiple cities, offering people a glimpse into the future with each journey. His departure coincides with a challenging period for cruise, highlighting the difficulties in the realm of self-driving technology. This situation might even pose a threat to Cruz's continued operations in the near future, but only time will reveal the outcome. That wraps up the latest news from Tesla for today. If you're interested in exploring the detailed on-screen UI for the Cybertruck, check out the linked video here or in the description below. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next update.